Derivatives. Oh, isn't that a bad word? Weren't derivatives those things that helped bring on the 2008 financial crisis when speculators were using them to kind of hide all that nasty lurking risk? However, maybe we need to reevaluate these instruments. Let's talk with Richard Sandor. He was chief economist and VP of the Chicago Board of Trade in the 70s. Heck, you developed the first interest rate futures contract, and you're best known, I think, for the Treasury bond futures. And he's written a book. It's called Good Derivatives, A Story of Financial and Environmental Innovation. All right, convince me, assume I'm a skeptic. Tell me how derivatives can be good, and for whom are they good? Well, first of all, let's define them, okay? They are financial instruments based on an underlying. So corn futures and options are based on corn. They're different. Treasury bond futures and options are derivatives based on an underlying called treasury bonds. The Chicago model, where they are regulated, transparent, have no counterparty risk, are good derivatives. What do they do? If you take a look at agriculture, in America we spend a lower proportion on food. We're going through a drought now. Southwest Airlines hedged its jet fuel. Home mortgages that were hedged like Ginny Mays, etc., bring $3,000. there is the abuse. The over-the-counter OTC derivatives. Uh, would you admit that those are all clean? I would, yes, yeah, so you hit a, an accurate point. There's 400 trillion dollars traded last year of good derivatives. The OTC derivatives, some of them work fantastically. The interest rates, foreign exchange. The bad ones like sovereign risk, uh, the country of Greece, which was charged 25 basis points. Look what has happened to that entire country, yet now may default further. Yes, it and, keeps teetering. And my big point is the Chicago model has worked. It's been imitated in 35 countries, 78 exchanges around the world, not a single problem. We have to tell the message that we know how to do it and we've done it in a regulated way. Very quickly way. though, th is there an overreaction with Dodd-Frank that's come in with all those thousands of pages of regulation? Dodd-Frank is an overreaction. It's 2,300 pages. It is longer than the New Testament, the Old Testament, and the Koran combined. Something is wrong if you can't write a piece of legislation in five pages like the Constitution to regulate a bank. Richard Sander, thank you very much. Waving the flag for good derivatives. Appreciate yes, it. great to be here with you.